welcome back to my channel. Can I just say that I don't think I will ever get used to saying that. Going from watching YouTube channels to actually posting my own YouTube videos, that will just never get old. So in today's video, what I want to talk about is basically life in Grenada. Like what life is like living on an island, what kind of things you should pack, what to be concerned with, or any concerns that you may have about moving to Grenada for school as far as SGU is concerned. But these are also some tips for people who are just want to visit the island. It is a very beautiful island. And so I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started. Grenada, to my knowledge, only high ranking police officers are allowed to carry guns. So none of the um, cops that you will encounter in the street or anything like that will be carrying guns. The best of my knowledge that um, citizens don't have guns, right? And so that kind of lessens the anxiety a little bit as far as um, interactions that you will be faced with while you're on the island. Um, another thing that I can say is that island is so safe. Um, it's not perfect because at the end of the day, no island is perfect. No place is completely 100% safe, but I will say that Grenada is highly a safe place to go. Um, personally, I did have one experience that did frighten me a lot, but we'll get into that in a second. Overall, my time on the island, um, I was never robbed or anything like that. We do get a lot of emails from the school about any kind of instances that happen on campus or off campus. Usually the emails are going to be about robberies. Um, people, if they leave their windows open, their doors open, things like that. And as you know, as students, we do have very valuable items with us, such as our iPads, our MacBooks, Chromebooks, whatever you have, like electronics are very expensive. So that's definitely one of the biggest crimes, I believe, in the area um, of St. George's. I can't speak for the entire island, but I know that in the area of St. George's where you stay as a student, that is one of the highest crimes um, in the area is theft. So I would be sure to be safe um, to lock your doors at night. Um, make sure that you are keeping your items close and safe to you. Don't walk alone. Walk in groups at all times, no matter how late at night it is. I have walked alone by myself at night before. The area that I live in was frequente. I felt like it was extremely safe. I was about a five minute walk from the bus stop and um, walking home at night, like um, off the main road. If I'm carrying a lot of items with me, such as my school bag, my book, my gym bag, um, you know, my coffee, my lunchbox, everything like that. So um, I was always like very vigilant, hyper vigilant. I was raised that way by my mother. So um, that's something that I always carry with me even when I was in the, in the school. But for the most part, it was a very safe experience for me. So unfortunately, there was one experience. That it wasn't something highly serious, but it did just kind of frighten me a little bit as far as um, how I did my schedule. So I started term one. This was January of 20. 19 i believe yes so january 2019 so we're going into the summer at this point my friends and i wanted to go on um a vacation to barbados that may and so of course you know you have to go on vacation i gotta get right so i started going to the gym at night so i would like study all day and then around eight nine o'clock at night i would go to the gym and afterwards i would take like maybe the 10 30 11 o'clock bus back home and this was never a concern for me like i just thought like you know after a long day of studying, let me go work out, let me get my body right so I look good in Barbados. I was doing that for a couple of months and then um, out of nowhere, my roommate told me that um, there was just this weird guy that was kind of hanging out at the bottom of our um, our house. Roommate told me that um, one of the housemates has experienced, at one point, I believe he chased her up the driveway. I didn't see it for myself and neither did my housemate, but she was telling me the recall from our housemate. And that frightened me to my entire core to a point where I stopped going to the gym at night and I didn't want to like be outside, um, you know, past a certain time. So I would always like take the earlier buses or I would take the point to lean bus, which would drop me right in front of my house instead of the one from the main road, which was like a five minute walk. I was just really scared because I was just like, it's one thing to like just see suspicious people, but to be chased, like literally my worst fear. Like I, I can't because like, so I was so scared after that. And um, even semesters afterwards, like I would be like so like worried and like there was no other incident that happened afterwards. So we kind of got a little lax about it and started like letting the gate open, things like that. But we were always very hyper vigilant because at the end of the day too, it was all girls. The two apartments downstairs and in the three bedroom upstairs, we were all female. So for us to hear that there was like a man at the bottom of the stairs, I mean at the bottom of the apartment and then also having chased her, like that scared all of us so, so much. But thankfully there was no other incident that I experienced personally um, in my time at the island. So that was my only real like um, safety concern. The next thing I wanna talk about is money and the conversion. So every one American dollar is about 2.7 um, Eastern Caribbean dollars or EC. I would highly suggest that you change your money because a lot of the time people will 
take advantage of the fact that you have an American dollar and give you less than the actual conversion. So that happened to me and my friends when we went to Carnival. My friends came to Grenada um, before the start of my second semester and we all went to Grenadian Carnival. As we were there, my, my friends all had American dollars. I mean, I had EC because I've been living there for a while and like I can use my ATM card there and they'll give me EC and things like that. My friends were using American dollars and they started noticing that they were being shortchanged every time they would give their American dollars. I would suggest highly if you're traveling to the area and especially if you're gonna live there for school, change your money because it's much easier for you to keep track of the money if you have it in the Eastern Caribbean dollars, you know that you're getting the right change back and you know you're not being shortchanged with your American dollars. So next up on our list is things to do, right? So going to the island, I have so many funny stories about all my experiences because literally I was going there with like half a brain, like do your research. So I'm starting off my CFP semester and um, going in, I, I all I've heard was how hard it was gonna be. I told you guys in my previous video, which I will link right here so you guys can check it out right after this one, that I was starting off CFP after my MSAT program. And so I was thinking that it's gonna be so hard, I'm gonna be studying all the time, I'll have no free time to even think or sleep, like all I'll do is study and that's it. Wrong. So packing, I literally only brought like sweatpants and like maybe a couple of jeans here and there and sneakers and stuff like that for the gym but mostly i was just thinking about i need to pack clothes for comfortability as far as the study halls um you know the gym and just maybe some jeans and stuff like that for like an afternoon or whatever i was so wrong like not that you have a lot of free time but you do have like enough free time where you can enjoy the island you know and try to get to know the island a little bit better because you're spending a lot of your time here, like four or five months at a time. So you might as well get to enjoy and, you know, experience the island so that when you leave, you're not just saying, I only knew St. George's University. I didn't know Grenada. I would definitely say if we're, you're packing there, you should definitely pack comfortable clothes. You should pack a club clothes. You should pack as if you're going on a long-term vacation, right? Because there's so much to do there and you're going to really enjoy it, especially after exams. All right, so some things that you guys can do on the island. Um, there are some clubs in the area that's really, really fun. First of all, get out of your head the, the normal clubs that you think about when you think of wherever you're from, those kind of clubs. It's not like that at all. Um, we'll start with Bananas. Bananas is like so close to the school that you can probably walk. So if you're sitting on, staying on campus or in the area right around the campus, it's definitely walking distance. Um, Tuesdays is the most lit day because it's like two firsts and thankfully most of our exams are usually on a Monday so it's perfect because you usually have the most free time right after your exam um, because you're furthest away from your next exam right. Bananas is actually one of my favorite spots. Personally I love reggae, I love soca, I love those kind of music and I also love like you know my hip-hop and all that stuff so Bananas is really good about playing a lot of soca music so like you can really experience the island. I learned so many new songs from Grenada. Sometimes I'll be putting my boyfriend and my friends on like, oh, you guys to listen to this, this is so good. The reason why it's my favorite is because it has so much diversity as far as like music and um, people. And then also the space is really big. So I wish there was like a video I had from the place, but Bananas literally has like an indoor area with like beer pong tables and it's like several tables where you can like literally play with so many people and then you go outside and then another bar and then it has staircases that go to like an overtop area that you can like see the whole club over and like mind you this is all outside it's so beautiful like and especially like when you're having a good time you're a little lit like it is so fun um i went there with my friends after one exam and like we had so much fun like literally we were just like why was that so lit last night like we were literally just chilling so that was like really cool, but we don't go there that often, honestly, because sometimes after an exam, you're like so tired that you literally just want to stay in bed and just like Netflix and chill all freaking day. So that's um, also an option, but if you want to go out, then those are there. As far as Brew goes, Brew's music, this is my own personal opinion, but like I think it's lit because the people are lit and not because the atmosphere is lit, you know what I mean? Junction, however, which is right across the street from Brew, like literally Brew Junction. Like Junction is another like Soka kind of place. It's a little more intimate, it's definitely smaller and stuff like that, but it is really cool. You'll see more locals at Junction um, rather than Brew or Bananas. Ranking in order, I would definitely say Bananas Junction Brew. 
but that's my own opinion. I've been to Brew more than I've been to Bananas only because my friends always want to go to, to Brew. Things to do is the movies. So the school is so awesome because um, I think about three Marvel movies came out during our time in Grenada. And I am a diehard Marvel fan. So I love them so, 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 so much. I wouldn't say diehard because I haven't seen the second uh, the Galaxy movie. Don't judge me. But I've seen like pretty much everything else. So while I was in Grenada, what movies came out? It was definitely Captain Marvel, Endgame. So Captain Marvel, Endgame. Um, there was that movie with Jennifer Lopez that came out too. It was about her, like them being strippers and whatnot. So the Marvel movies, the school provided us like busing from campus to the movie theaters, discount ticket tickets and stuff like that. It is definitely small. It's definitely smaller than you're expecting. You won't find any reclining seats. The movie theaters like way back in the day, like when we were first growing up, like. That's what you're expecting like not they're not chairs but like you know i mean they might as well be might as well be i don't know if you guys know this but grenada has this underwater i think it's called like a museum like an underwater museum and basically in this specific area somewhere in st george's there are these underwater statues and they have like so many different kinds and it's literally the most beautiful thing you will probably ever see in your life so what you do is you grab a couple of friends and you guys find like one of the good companies. Companies are really nice. They provide you with like drinks, um, water, juice, um, small snacks and stuff like that. And so basically you're out on the water. It's just a yacht, but like it's not, don't think of it like being really huge. It's like a, a comfortable yacht, maybe like six to eight people. And then once you get to the area, they'll give you snorkeling gear so you can go down and see the underwater statues. Um, if you don't want to, like, because Grenada is so clean and clear, you literally don't even need to go under the water. Like if you put the snorkeling gear on and you just put your face, like literally if this is the rim of the water and you put your face like right on top of it, you can see everything clear as day. Another thing we did for my friend's birthday, um, we liked this little cruise where we went to like this private island and we had lunch and it was so much fun. Like, so there are really nice things to do there. Another thing um, I did with my friends was um, there was like this really nice waterfall and you can like take pictures, you can like swim in the water because it's like completely clean water. Yeah, so there's a lot of things to do there. So don't think that you're going there and you're gonna just be miserable and studying all the time. Into food because yes. So starting off with campus, um, so every day before three or four o'clock, on the upper side of campus. So there's a, like a lower campus and there's upper campus. You can just take a trolley to get to the top of campus. But if you wanna like work out your calves, you know, get that booty right for the summertime, take the stairs, take the hill. It will definitely give you that workout when you don't have time to go to the gym because that thing is hmm, steep. Okay. <laughs> hmm. But um, it's a nice little workout. So um, get to the top of the hill and um, there's this area, a couple of vendors who can stay there from like the um, lunchtime. I think they're there from like 12 to five and they have um, Indian food, Chinese food, Spanish food, so good and so much more food. <laughs> this is a go on campus, a really like basic um, subway. Um, Glover's is cool. All right, so off campus now, Greeks, shawarma king, everything that is inside um, Container Park. Honestly, people, it's so funny. Like when, you, when you're about to go there, people are like, you're gonna have such a hard time with the conversion, you know, like you're not conversion as far as money, but like conversion as far as like what you're used to in America. And it's so not true. Like it's so not true. One thing that I can say is that um, it is different than what you're used to as far as it's 10 p.m., you're starving everything is closed everything is closed if you don't have food at home if you don't save if you need to save your lunch if you don't have a friend who's gonna make you some dinner it's clipped it's clipped go go to sleep hungry you haven't sleep for dinner tonight period like that's the only thing that's hard because it's like you have to remember that we're also studying like 12 1 2 3 in the morning if you've noticed i have never mentioned like oh this is a grenadian specialty this is specific to grenada I've never seen anything. The only thing that like, I, I've heard of is something called oil down and I personally won't eat it because it's based with coconut and I just don't, I, me and coconut are not not friends. We don't we don't bang together. If you're looking for places for like um, your birthday, the celebration, things like that, um, a lot of the hotels have restaurants attached to them so they can provide you with those kind of things. I would personally recommend Aquarium because I really enjoy the ambiance, the, the way everything is set up, the food is really good. 
um the bathrooms are so beautiful and clean like so love it there um but yeah so there's a bunch of other places that you guys can check out and it's really good silver sand is really nice it's new it's super expensive but if you're into that get into it you're typically going to be traveling for groceries at iga which is just the one that's the big supermarket that's nearest the campus um if you do have a car if you know your way around you can go to other places that's more in the city of st george's you'll definitely find cheaper stuff there but as far as convenience goes you need a car you need someone to help you out there so um or you can get a taxi or something like that so i would suggest if you're going to do that then um you know save your money that way so last thing we're going to talk about is campus life um packing things like that right so as far as campus life goes um i'm gonna post another video very shortly talking about some of the things that i bought from amazon on my way to grenada they were very helpful for me and so i hope that they'll be helpful for you guys as well um so you guys check that out um very shortly i'll be posting that for all packing wise i did mention earlier you want to basically pack as if you are going on a long vacation try not to overpack because it comes really a hassle when you're trying to pack coming back home it's not even about going there it's more so about coming home so other thing you should be packing is um a water bottle it's gonna be so helpful to you because green is hot you're gonna be outside a lot you're gonna be walking around a lot it's very hot so if you have like, a nice stainless steel water bottle i personally use hydro flask and it was the best thing that ever happened to me because get my water so cold and and like i love ice water so like when it came out water so cold and it was perfect um, if you like lemon in your water, true lemon is really easy to work with too because they have those little packets of like lemon flavoring. So you can just like sprinkle those in there. My friend Ariel put me on and it changed my life. I would say pack sweaters. Someone like me that gets cold very easily, I would highly suggest that you pack sweaters, especially if you're going to SGU. The study halls, the lecture halls, anywhere that you are inside of a building in St. George's is cold, is freezing cold. So if you're going to be sitting in lecture for two hours, if you're going to be studying in that lecture, in that um, study hall for six plus hours, I would highly suggest that you get a sweater, maybe a couple of sweatpants. Uh, I would also suggest um, if you're going to live off campus, bring a lunchbox because the lunchbox are really expensive in Grenada. Um, also bring a coffee maker or one of those electric teapots. Um, also be aware that if you're going to be living on campus, they have the European outlets and the American outlets. So if you want to maximize space, bring things that have the adapter for the European outlets or just bring like one of those power strips where you as a gym goes, if you're avid gym goers, if you're like me and you kind of just pop in once in a while just to like, you know, do your little thing. All of the cardio equipment overlook the ocean and it's like so beautiful. Like my friends used to be so jealous because like I was telling you guys earlier about that trip that I was taking um, in, to Barbados in May. And literally we'd all do like little check-ins like, hey, I made it to the gym, da 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 da. And so whenever I would check in, they'd all be like, are you for real? Because mine just like February. So it's like freezing cold in New York. And I'm like checking in in front of my beach, like literally running, looking at the sunset of the water. They have beach volleyball. They have um, two basketball courts and they have a whole soccer field. So they have like soccer games and stuff like that. There's like so much to do on campus besides just studying until your eyes melt. I'm gonna close this video because I've honestly been chatting forever at this point. Um, if there's anything that I didn't touch on and you guys want me to talk about, or if you have any questions at all about living in Grenada, what to pack, anything like that, um, please let me know in the comments below or on my Instagram. But I know at this point, you know, we're three videos in, you know, we're building a bond here, building a relationship. Why don't you subscribe? You know, the video, give it a thumbs up, whatever you're feeling. Come back for some more.